Luke 9 verse what? 44. Let these words sink into your ears. The Son of Man is going to be betrayed and handed over to men who are his enemies. However, they did not understand this statement. Its meaning was kept hidden from them so that they will not grasp it and they were afraid to ask him about. Can you see that verse? Amen. They were also afraid to do what? To ask him about. And verse 46, an argument started among them as to which of them might be the greatest or surpassing the others in esteem and authority. But Jesus, knowing what they were thinking in their heart, took a child and had him stand beside him. And he told them, whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes him who sent me. For the one who's least among all of you, that, that is the one who's genuinely humble, the one with a real, realistic self-view. He is the one who is truly great. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I was looking at this scripture, I found that Jesus was talking about Daiseni. Daiseni. Tell your neighbor, you need to Daisen. If we can read there, you see that Jesus spoke words that they were supposed to have Daisen. But when they hear those words, they fail to hear them because they were on their issues. When he said, someone will betray, let it sink into your ears. They were supposed to have heard that and they said it so that they must not enter temptations. Because if you don't die when temptation comes, you are defeated. One of the reasons why the disciples ran away was not because they were chased. It was because on their faith they were weak. If they knew what would happen, they could not be afraid. They failed to dissect what Jesus was saying. One of our mistakes today is, is position of influence and authority. And many times we found ourselves in danger because of that. If you want to go there, the Bible shows that Bible learn to be a dissenter. My friend, if you want to be great, be a great dissenter. If you can be a great dissenter, when temptations come, you'll be able to know why they came. You won't divide from the truth you've been given. I was reading about Proverbs 2, 1 to 5, that discernment it's not something that when we want it, we fast for it, we cry. You know, always when you want to die, you just cry. Hallelujah. Amen. Look here, die when you cry for it, so that you fear, or the fear, and the understanding of the Lord, you will end up finding it. Let me say it. When, when you dissent, you cry. You cry to say, no, no, no. I need to know. No, I need to know. There are two things in front of me. I need to know what to take. When you find that discernment, it brings fear of the Lord. I don't know if you're hearing me. 
Listen, the reason why people today are taking wrong decisions is because the fear of the Lord is not there. But if you are a discerner, you will end up finding what is wrong or what is right. If, if, if you are here, you say, I hear. The reason why you have to discern is two or three things coming to you or a situation or a challenge that will come to you and you find your mind is failing to comprehend it. Everybody can understand everything. But comprehension deals with wisdom. The moment once you have a wisdom, you have got a solution of that situation. Listen to this. Many times you face challenges. If you discern that challenge, you can understand why this challenge came and therefore you won't face the challenge. You will face where you are going. Many times we are looking on what brought the challenge. That the reason why the challenge came. Because a designer question why this thing came. It does not look on the things that has come. You have got a question why these things came. Why this sickness is around. Why this poverty is here. Why I'm facing challenges. So, so and I said, look beyond, beyond the situation. And now he understood and or understand the situation later. He succeeded in life because he will never look at the situation. He will look at the answer of that situation. I see you getting answers of that situation. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're a discerner, you cannot be in a wrong place in a wrong time. Because you understand what you want and you know why you are there. You won't waste time where you are. You know where you are going. I don't know if you're hearing me. Be a discerner today. I said, be a discerner today. If you are a discerner, no one will rob you. You will understand your road. You will know where you are going. I prophesy someone who's listening to me that from today God is giving a way out for you and you will never die there. Tell her about I will never die where I am. I'm a discerner and I know why I'm facing all this. When Jesus spoke what Isaiah spoke, if we read in Matthew 13, 10 to 15, 10 to 15. He never tried to waste time, Jesus. Because he saw that they were fulfilling the scriptures or the prophecy of Isaiah. When Isaiah said, they will have ear, but they won't hear. They will have eyes, but they won't see. Jesus will speak in parables. Listen to this. Jesus, when he reached to a place, he will never force you to understand something. When you see that throughout there is no repentance, you speak a parable. When you speak a parable, it needs a discerner to understand. So the disciples were asking Jesus, why do you speak always in parables? He said, no, these people will hear. But they won't understand but what I'm saying. So for me to talk, so it's a waste of death. To a person so who does not dissect, even when you talk, you are just like you are singing. It's like a bad singing. I don't know if you are hearing me. So a dissector can get the meaning of the parable. A dissector can get a meaning of the parable. If you can read all about Jesus, when he's talking about the kingdom, parable, he just says, oh, no, no, no. These people here, even if they are not hearing what I'm saying, but they will believe by the works I'm doing. But 
Those who want to understand them, they want to find the mistakes of what I'm saying. But if they can look at the works I'm doing, they are supposed to be believing. So Jesus will just say, I must not waste time. They have already seen the works I'm doing. Let me speak parables. When you reach there, you will just say, there was a five visions. And another five visions. I'm sure you, are, you know the story. In Matthew 25. You just speak a parable. They question it. But he will be knowing what he's talking about. Today, I see someone deriving solution from the trouble. If, if you are the one, say amen. People who don't dissect, they allow situation to be the way they are. We Christians, we are not biased. We don't accept things the way they are. I don't know if you're hearing me. We have got eyes that see. Tell me about I've got eyes that see. I can see a problem here. But out of the problem, I can still see far the solution of that problem. I don't know if you're hearing that. So Jesus will continue with parables and continue with parables. And Jesus said, listen, as I spoke about this, that you can come and preach with people they will never hear. Even if you scream, even if you shout, these are the people that have been prophesied. There might be many, many things that are happening around us. But God wants us to understand the meaning of that. I don't know if you hear me. Because whatever happened to someone is a lesson to someone. It's not true. It's not something to laugh at. It's something to learn about. And I said, maybe God might be teaching us something about someone. So there's sometimes when you, you must observe people around you to find the situation around you. Sometimes people can block you because they, God wants to release you. I, I don't know if you're hearing Sometimes people can act in a strange way. Can't you? There's a meaning that is coming upon your life. I, I want to prophesy who's listening to me. Amen. I see, I see you living the life that was hidden for many years. That life is coming to you in the name of Jesus. There's a life hidden because it's a life of parable. It's hidden. But I see God making you to derive. You know what is derivative? Derive. It's like you are given a formula to bring the solution from something which is complex. I see the complex becoming simple. If, if you are the one, say amen. So when I was learning about this, I understood why Jesus says they are still going to listen, but they won't hear. So for me to speak with them is useless. A hearing heart or a heart that is ready to repent and follow God, always there will be new ways that will be spoken to that, to that heart. And that heart will find a direction will find a solution. I don't know if you are hearing me. If you are a dissenner, always you are learning. There can be mistakes, but you will be corrected. I don't know if you are hearing me. There are some challenges, but there will be a way. There are some people who are here, they have committed some mistakes. I'm here to tell you, don't dwell in those mistakes. They can be corrected. They can be corrected. I see you going somewhere today. I see you going somewhere today. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Shake somebody and say, hey, I have committed mistakes because I could not dissent, but they can be corrected. They can be corrected. Listen to this. Don't dwell in your past because your future is waiting for you. I see some people who are here. You have been hurt in the past, but there is a greatness of you that is coming in the future. And if you believe, shout out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Say I may die, sinner. I cannot die by my mistakes. I may die, sinner. I will know where I'm going. I'm bound to die, sinner. If you look at Luke 12, verse 54, verse 54 to, 56, to 56, Jesus was saying, yes, you people, you are able to descend the face of the sky and of the earth. But how is it you don't descend the time? When I read the scripture, I realized that the times if we are aware of, we become prophetic. Can I say it again? If we are aware of the times, we become prophetic. You know, always a prophet is a prophet because of a time. Or a season. When he speaks, it's because there's a season. Or a time. So here, God wants you to be a prophet of yourself. If you're a Dysena, you're a prophet of yourself. You know your season. You know your time. You know your week. You won't cry because you know when there will be a solution. Jesus was worried. He said, look at these people. They are always talking about the rain will come. But they can't see the blessing I'm bringing. That was discerning. Look at these people. They were supposed to be knowing the time of revival. The time of money. Listen to this. When God wants to save the land of Egypt. God brought a dream to Pharaoh. It was a dream of time. Tell there is a dream of time. And when Pharaoh was watching, he just saw the thin cows swallowing the fat one. Pharaoh said, no, 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 no. no, no. This makes me to find the knowledge. I want to understand the meaning of this. There comes a man who was in prison when he was released there. The moment when you look, he said, hey, I can see there will be a seven years of plenty. But a seven years also of nothing. But now, Pharaoh said, hey, I, I, everybody failed to descend. You are the one who can help us. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when you have discernment, there's an assignment of you. A discerner, you've got an assignment. You've got situations that need to be interpreted. And you have to be part of that. Don't, don't, don't just interpret situations. And you don't enjoy the blessing of it. Have you ever found that you are helping people but you are not enjoying their blessing? This is the time that whatever you work for or when you help other people, they come back and bless you. There are some people who gave you bad things, but you gave them good things. This is a time now of reaping the best. It was a season of suffering, but there's a season that has come which I'm prophesying. In that season, those who took things away from you, they will bring it back. Those who were like stumbling blocks, they will open a way for you. I, I, I'm telling you the dreams, the season, or the time, and I'm dissecting it to you. And where you are now, you have suffered it enough. But I'm hearing my God say, hey, it's over. I'm dissecting it for you. This year, it will never end without your testimony. I'm I'm sending it for you that the car you wanted to drive is coming, it's on your way. 
I'm saying it to you that people will look at you and know it is your season. Shake somebody and say, hey, hey, it is my season. This man is dissecting for me. Tell you about this man is dissecting for me. Listen, I'm dissecting for you. You are in the land of Egypt. Satan is controlling. You are in the land of corruption. But I'm seeing you succeeding in front of your enemies. I see you. There's an anointing of breakthrough that is coming to you in the name of Jesus. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I say it is a season. I dissect it for you. I dissect it for you. It's a season of taking over. It's a season of moving forward. It's a season. I say it is your season. Hey! I dissect it for you. When you move from here, you take what belongs to you. When you move from here, you have. It is your season. Say it is my time. 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 Tell people it's my time. I'm dissecting it. I'm dissecting it. Yes. There are some people who are looking at their problems. They were looking at their situation. And they were suffering. Many of them, they thought it's over with their lives. But I'm here as a dissenter. I'm here as a dissenter. Say, hey, I've got a spirit of discernment. I can see answers where there is rejection. I can see breakthrough where there is stumbling blocks. I can see myself prospering in front of my enemies. I can see myself when I dissect. I see, I see where I'm going. If you believe I am going. I'm a Tysera. Hey, hey, look here. Let me show you. If you go to a Sangoma, he just dissects. He takes the bones and, and throw them down and begin to say, I can see your visitor. I can see your neighbor. I can see this. Hey, you have come to an apostle. I want to dissect. Can I dissect? Can I dissect? Can I dissect? I say today, this poverty. There's a door open. This poverty is running out. I said the riches. The riches is looking for you. I dissect. I dissect. There's many people here who are not living their lives. While you're working, you're oppressed. Even when you do business, you are failing. But can I dissect for you? I see a season from now to next year, January. I see your enemies running out. And I see you taking a position that you wanted in that company. Say I'm a dissenter. What are you dissenting? Ask your neighbor, ask your neighbor, hey, what are you dissenting? What are you dissenting? What are you dissenting? You're a dissenting man. You're a dissenting man. You're a dissenting man. Listen. I want to tell you about a dissenting. Can you tell me about a dissenting? A dissenter just looks like this. He sees a weed. 
But he sees calmness there. So I see the wind. I see calmness here. When people are busy trying to block the wind, the Daisena is sitting. Watch. Many people can Daisen. They are looking at the wind. Oh God. This wind will take away my house. I'm still paying for my car. You take away my car. This is a wind. I must do something about it. But it is enough. I saw the wind. Oh, okay, okay. I see the answers. Oh, I see that. Listen to the dissent. Thank you, Lord. For the answers. Thank you, Lord. For the weed. Thank you, Lord, for the answers. Can I prophesy you? This year, when people are losing what they think they have on your side, it will be multiplication. I said it will be multiplication. I see multiplication. Are you ready for multiplication? Are you ready for multiplication? Listen. A Dysena. The car of a Dysena can still be far. Or a house can still be far. But a Dysena here is not anything. He will ask, what brought this? Because I'm seeing my things. Do you know Abraham, Abraham was made a dicer when people were laughing at him? Because he can see children here. No children around. Abraham would just say, You kick the son. You say, My children. Will be like this. In the night, he heard people laughing. And he was alone with Sarah. He began to hear, I need to hear what they are laughing at. When he gets out, when you look up, you stop and say, Hey, he sent my children. Will be like stars. I can't listen to, to what they are saying because he has spoken. A Daisena knows what the Lord has spoken. A Daisena knows what will come. I prophesy you. You are a Daisena today. Say I'm a Daisena. Tell three people around you. Say I'm a Daisena. Daisena. Can you lift up your hands? Tell God truth. I, I thank you that I may die sinner from now. Carry on, pray that prayer. Carry on, pray that prayer. Carry on, pray that Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my, oh my God. God, all together, all together, together we're, all together, together wonderful, wonderful to, to me. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow. Here I am to say, You're my God. All together, all together, we all together, wonderful. In Jesus' name. 